Hey guys, welcome back, PJ Mining 10 here with episode 11 of our Let's Get Technical Let's Play. Now last episode we went ahead and dove straight into Applied Energistics headfirst, and this episode we plan on coming out of the water completely dry, and we're going to have everything that we're going to need for Applied Energistics, hopefully this episode. Now, I did do a ton of mining, as you see, I have 49 quartz crystals on me, and I have made a bunch of stuff that we are going to need in order to make this thing for auto crafting. Now, most people don't go with Applied Energistics, um, I'm not exactly sure why, I don't know if it's because quartz, or if they just don't know about the mod, or if it's logistics pipes, but hopefully I will be able to change your minds with about this mod here. Now, I will go ahead and show you the recipes. As you see, it's pretty easy. We already went over these kind of recipes and other things like that. The other thing that I've only used one of so far is one of these. It's a little bit more expensive. It is a diamond, which is about four times more expensive than this one. But hey, it's not all that bad, and I'm not complaining. This is probably the biggest pain in the butt here. Um, the quartz fiber is actually three quartz dust, which is, if you macerate a quartz crystal, is actually going to be pretty easy to do. So really no big deal there, which is pretty good. Let's see, we have ourselves seven silicone. But as you see, we have a good bit of stuff in here, and I did go mining. We have like 135 gold ingots and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves 128 gold ingots, which is exactly what we're going to need. And we're going to need over a little bit of our iron. So I'm assuming about 100 and... Um, you know what, let's go with that much and let's see what we go from there. So the first thing that we're going to need to make this multi-block structure is actually going to be an assembler containment wall. Let's go ahead and shift click as you see as you see, as you see the ME assembler wall is actually going to be a little bit of iron, a little bit of gold, and a quartz crystal. Now as you see, we do have quite a bit of quartz crystal, so that's no big deal. And you will be needing 32 for the size that we are making. Now I will show you um, the size that I am making, obviously, but you can make a smaller one, I believe. You can make a 3x3x3, three by three by three, I think. And you'll only have one block in the middle, but this will actually have four blocks in the middle, which is pretty dang cool. Now, I could make it one higher, I believe, and I don't think that would be all that much more expensive, but hey, we're going th with this for now. Um, we can actually go ahead and head up here and lay this out for the time being. Now, we are going to be placing this about in the corner, so let's go ahead, and I did not want to place you there. Let's go ahead and place it like so, and we should be able to go four. And then let's head on over. There is another four, and I think we have this laid out just perfectly. As you see, there is the four, and let's go ahead and go up about three, I believe. Let's see. Is that right? That's got to be right. Let's go ahead and try this, and let's go ba-boom. And I believe, yeah, we're going to have to go up at one more block, which is really no big deal. We are going to have to do, I think, the outer ring. So let's go ahead and head up here. And we should just be able to knock out these blocks here with no big issue um, because we do have our awesome pickaxe, which is pretty close to breaking. So um, I don't know why that is, but hey, it's no big deal. Let's go ahead and place you down here. And we should be able to place you. And let's go ahead and finish this off. So let's go ba-boom, ba-boom. And we actually had to make this a little bit higher than I thought we were. But as you see, the corners, all the vertices, everything like that is actually... Um, all of these, the corners, I'm considering these as the corners, and the sides are going to be like this. Now, as you see, I did leave all of these empty. Now, why did I do that? All right, well, I have a pretty good reason. The next thing we're going to need is heat vents. Now, as you see, we should be able to make about 28 heat vents, but I believe we're only going to need about, let's see, can we pull out, you know what, let's just grab 28. I think we only need 26 of these, or maybe it's 24, but let's go ahead and figure this out. So, as you see, there is four there, and you're going to want to fill all of these sides except for one with this stuff. Now, the reason you don't want to fill the last one is obviously because there are a few components that you would like to be placing in here. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss a block there. Now, as you see, I actually made 28 of these, and we only needed 24. So we can actually use these later if we would like to expand this, because you can actually expand this, which is rather nice. So I believe you can do, I don't know how big the biggest one you can do is, but this one is a rather nice size. So now the next block that we're going to go ahead and grab is the crafting G or CPU. Now, it doesn't matter if you make yourself the pattern provider or the, pat or the crafting CPU. 
but it matters that you do have both. So let's go ahead and see if we have ourselves a little bit of glowstone. I believe we should have a good amount of that in here. So let's go ahead and grab that. Now you can right click to pull out half a stack out of this, which is cool. As you see, it pulls out half of whatever is in there, unless it is over obviously um, 64. So that is cool. All right, so what we really need to do is head back over to you and let's find our crafting CPU and let's go ahead and how come we can only make two? Do we not have enough crystals on us? Um, I'm not exactly sure why we can't make that. Let's see, crafting CPU. Um, I don't think we had enough iron on us, so no big deal. Let's just go ahead and grab into here and grab ourselves our last bit of iron. Now, this is pretty much going to wipe out your resources, to be honest, especially if you're as early in the game as I am, but it's most definitely going to be worth it. As you see, we already have two, and we're going to want about four. Now, four should be fast enough, to be honest, and I'm not going to be complaining about the speeds that I'm going to be getting from this for sure. Now, as you see, I did place down the wrong block, which is kind of unfortunate, but um, no big deal. Let's go ahead and place down ourselves our crafting CPUs. Now, you can place these in the back or wherever you really would like. And we have ourselves a piece of ME cable in there for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. And all right, so now we have ourselves everything that we really need. Now, the next thing that we need is to grab ourselves a few pattern providers. Now, these guys are a little bit more expensive, but I believe if we have ourselves enough iron, what we should be able to do is make a few of them. So let's see. We have our conversion matrices, which is plural of conversion matrix. And all we need now is we have our crafting tables. Um, I honestly don't know what we're missing. I believe we're missing a little bit of iron. So what we are going to do is grab ourselves a diamond or two. And I'm hoping that we can get this to work because generally it doesn't like us. So what we're going to do is take ourselves a diamond. And let's go ahead and run down here. And our fortune, or not fortune, efficiency one pickaxe is about to break. And I don't know, it's going like super fast. So um, let's go ahead and take ourselves um, some of these diamonds. And as you see, it works in there. But if we go ahead and go up here, it's not going to work, which is a bit of a nuisance. I don't know why um, it's not working. But let's go ahead and find ourselves our Philosopher's Stone, which I don't seem to see. Where the heck do we put that thing? Did I place it in Xia? Um, No, maybe it's in our canvas bag. I'm hoping that's where it is. Otherwise... I'm going to be a little bit angry. Obviously, we have our clone of it. Let's see. Is that the real one? No. Um, we had the clone. I have no idea where the real one went. I believe I threw it somewhere on accident, and I'm not exactly sure where I threw that. So, let's see. Philosopher's Stone. Philosopher's Stone. Maybe um, Warhawk has one, and we can go ahead and steal that one for the time being. I will return it if we can find it. So, that will be great if we can. Um, hello. 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 Okay, so he was working on some ME stuff as well. Where was he working on it, though, is a good question. I'm not sure. Um, he does have a few essences and things. He has a mining turtle, or seven, actually. And he's actually set up a turtle spawn farm thing. I don't know. Not a turtle spawn farm. A... What is it? Um, he set up a thing that is going to kill blazes, so that is cool. We really need that philosopher's stone. Where the heck is it? Um, it is possible that we have some iron somewhere else, so let's just go ahead and see if we can find that, which would be rather nice if we do. It is possible that there is some in here. Um, sadly, there is not, so that is not... Where the heck is our philosopher's stone? I really need to find that thing, otherwise we are going to be in trouble, and I don't want to be in trouble, so let's head back upstairs and hope for the best. I really need to find that thing. Um... Philosopher Stone, where are you? I don't... Un what the heck? It oh, it's Minium Stone. Okay. I knew that. Why the heck was I searching for... What the crap? Alright, I don't know why I was searching for, for, for Philosopher Stone, because obviously that's not in the game yet. Um, but now that we have ourselves a Minium... I thought that I would have figured that out. Man, that was a stupid mistake. I thought I would have figured that out by now, but I guess not. Alright, so what we are going to do is throw you in there, and we're going to throw about two of you... And we're going to go ahead and leave that in there. But what we will do is take our gold and place you uh, there. And what we should be able to do is place some gold in there. And ba-boom, we have ourselves an entire stack of what we are looking for. So that is great. Now all we need to do is make these pattern providers, I believe. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get those made up. Let's go ahead and make four of you. Now the next thing that we really, really are going to need is going to be 
one of, let's see, I believe it is, where are you? It's going to be a pattern encoder. Now that thing's not all that hard to make. I believe we need one of our conversion um, matrices, which is going to be no big deal. Let's go ahead and place the rest of our blocks. As you see, we can already click on them, but that is not the main um, part here. So let's go ahead and say ba-boom. And as you see, uh, there we go. We have our um, entire crafting assembly ready. You can go ahead and go into the next pages or do whatever you would like. Now you're going, okay, now what the crap is that? Well, it's going to be super cool. Let's go ahead and use our pickaxe and break this because I don't currently have a... Um, a saw or an axe on me for the moment so that's no big deal but you can actually right click on this anywhere and access the GUI so that is pretty cool let's go ahead and I don't know let's break these blocks and I have no idea why that pickaxe was breaking so quick earlier um, let's go ahead and say we do need a few more of these and now that we have everything made that should be no big deal let's go ahead and grab the rest of the glass that we have though um, because we are going to need a little bit of that let's say one two three and one, two, three. Now, basically, all I need to do is grab enough of this for, in order for us to be able to connect it. So that shouldn't be all that much, to be honest. So that should be good. Let's go ahead and split you up. And actually, that recipe works backwards, too, which is nice. All right, so what we're going to do is obviously go to the closest thing to this giant block um, here. And we are going to take ourselves a little bit of our ME cable and run it directly from the controller. And there you go. Now that that is hooked up, you will see that we are using about 19 units per tick, and it does actually have 32 containment walls, 24 heat vents, um, 4 pattern providers, and our 4 processing cores, or actually crafting cores, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and check how we are doing on EU, which I believe is not going to be so swell now. Now, hey, how are we going to fix that? You know what, that's not all that bad, I suppose. We should be able to fix that very easily now that we have ourselves some automated crafting. Now, another thing that we really, really need to get is ourselves this pattern encoder. Now, the pattern encoder, um, really, really no big deal, to be honest with you guys, just because it's quite simple to get and it's quite simple to make. So let's go ahead and place you down, and we should be able to just make one of these guys, which should be no big deal. Let's go ahead and grab you. Now that we have ourselves this pattern encoder, I don't think it has to be attached to any energy, which is wonderful. Now the next thing that we need is going to rely on these quartz crystals once again. Now, you thought you were out of the clear, but, or out of the red, I suppose, but now, man, eh, you're kind of not. You're not in the clear just yet. You're going to need these um, blank patterns. So these blank patterns are pretty, I don't know, they're pretty complicated to get. So what we are going to do is make sure that we have enough stuff to get a few of them. And let's go turn down our music because that is becoming a nuisance. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but um, yeah, it's not all that great. I'm sure I'll turn it down in the um, Adobe Premiere when I get there. So now what we need to do is go ahead and go back to you and we should be able to make quite a few of these to be honest if I grabbed ourselves enough glowstone and we don't have enough glass actually so as you see we do have ourselves our first um, blank ME pattern now these patterns will be able to be placed directly into here and what we're going to be able to say is place that guy right there and let's go ahead and teach it how to you know what, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and say cobblestone, because it is going to need to know how to make furnaces, most definitely, because we are going to need that to make generators, if we're going to do it the cheap way. So let's go ahead and say encode. Now, as you see, these were actually ghost blocks, so ba-boom, none of these are disappearing. And now the recipe is encoded onto our assembler pattern. Now, it does say it crafts one furnace with eight cobblestone. Let's go ahead and take this bad boy and place it directly into here. Now, really, if you wanted to, you could break this block. I'll just go ahead and do it as a proof. Let's go ahead and break you. And as you will see, in one of these pattern providers, you will actually have that block. But for the time being, we are not going to do that. We're just going to grab our heat vent. And as you see, it did not actually fall out, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so now the next thing that we're going to need to do is actually go straight into here. Now, all right, what the heck, what's, what's going on? I don't know. Okay, so we went ahead and switched our view, and automatically it went over to craftable. Now, you can scroll to the bottom, and in the bottom right, it should have furnace. Um, it might not be in the exact bottom right for you guys, but hey, we are now able to craft a furnace. I'm going to go ahead and do this to make it easier to see. Now, how much cobble do we have is a very good question. Let's go ahead and go back over to here. Let's see. I don't want to do A to Z. Let's do by number of items. We have about 284 of our cobblestone. Now, hey, 
I don't want to waste all of our cobblestone, but I would like to waste a good bit of it. Let's go ahead and make about eight of these guys. As you see, you can add 64, you can add one, you can subtract one, subtract 64. I'm going to make about, say, 11 of our, um, or actually let's make 10 of our furnaces. Now get your timer ready. Let's go ahead and press begin. And bada boom, we should be able to wait here and go back to our stored. And as you should see, um, let's go ahead and say, boom, we already have ourselves 10 furnaces. Holy crap. That is awesome. We have ourselves our 10 furnaces that quick, that easy. That is just how fast this stuff is. Um, as the mod developer did say, it is instant. The, mod, or the items are not relying on buildcraft pipes to traverse through a pipe. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's just super awesome because it is all stored as data, and it's instant. It's at the speed of light. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and get ourselves, say, an, a generator plan. So what we really need to do is get a tad bit more glass, and I would like to get an induction furnace as well, so that would be nice, but it is really nice having all of that done um, just because it was going to be a nuisance without it, and I really love auto crafting, so that's going to be cool. Now, another cool thing is now that we have all of that stuff done, that is the most labor-intensive stuff that you have to make. Now, the next thing that's kind of a nuisance is actually going to be the storage cells because if you did see up there, I kind of had to rearrange our storage a little bit. I had to put them in... Um, what did I put them in? I don't know. I had to like pull certain things that I knew were on certain storage cells, and I had to pull them off and place them somewhere where I was able to... Um, use them. So if that makes any sense, what I basically did is I cleared one and put stuff that was going to fit on it on another one, and then I put it back and it was able to store more because it was able to store more different types of items. That made no sense even to me. So I don't know how you guys can... Uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, so what we really need is a few more of our blank patterns. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's grab six. Um, I believe they're stackable up to 64, but you can only place one at a time in here. Um, I will go ahead and show that off. Yeah, there you go. You can only do one. Um, no big deal, I guess, though. So what we now need to do is take a... Um, I did not want to do that. I'm surprised that actually falls out. That's kind of funny. Um, let's go ahead and say furnace. I really love the search function blah, 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 Search function of this because it's pretty dang cool. Let's see. Can we go ahead and say a U and then let's say one, two, three, four. And as you see, we have ourselves an iron furnace. Now what we're going to do is say encode and now this knows how to make an iron furnace. Let's go ahead and clear this pattern out and there we go. So now all we have to do is throw you in there and now it knows how to make two different things. Now you can also use this for smelting of your items, automatic smelting, um, sorting. Uh, yeah, you can use it for sorting. It's kind of no point sorting since you kind of have automatic crafting and you can actually search for things i mean like bones right there but hey bone 192 that's pretty cool and i love this for that fact and as you see you can store one two three four five you can store 10 of these so you can store so many items it's not even funny you can go all the way up to 64k of these and I only have 5k, and I'm able to store this much, and I probably can store a little bit more. So that's nice. Now, what we really need to do is grab ourselves, um, let's see, I think it actually uses the ore dictionary. So what I would like to test out is if we can make a few chests. Now, I don't think we have all that much wood, which is going to be a little bit of an issue for us. But I'm assuming that it should be able to handle that little problem for us. Let's see, great wood logs. I'm pretty sure we can't turn into wood. Yeah, we can't do that. But what we should be able to do is find a little bit of wood down here somewhere, I'm assuming. Let's see, if not, possibly um, I don't know, Frodo might have some over at his house because he hasn't been on in a while. And it is possible that he grabbed some. And actually, I'm pretty sure that he does. Um, for the time being, we're just going to grab this rubber wood, and I think we can turn that. Yeah, there we go. So as you see, 18 wooden planks. Now you're going, okay, well, those are different from some of the other wood. So how is it going to account for that? Is it going to be like logistics pipes, and is it going to be like all derpy? Is it going to mess up? Let's go ahead and take a little bit of you just to, um, to prove a point. What we should be able to do now is head on upstairs. And I'm not exactly sure if you can actually like decode one of those encoded um, things, but we will have to see that right here. I'm just afraid that it will break, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and place you there, and what we are now going to do is do, let's say, let's do something like that, and then let's go ahead and place ourselves a little bit of, uh-oh, we don't have any other kind of wood now, do we? Um, we could do something, what the heck, why is that button in there? 
what we should be able to do is actually use wood and do something like that. Let's go ahead and grab all of you and let's place ourselves a wooden plank here, here, and I decided to change it up since we messed up. All right, so there we go. Now, as you see, encode. There we go. Okay, we need ourselves a blank pattern. No big deal. What we should be able to say is encode now, and let's go place this bad boy right in here. Now, if you do hold down shift, it will actually go from these little storage crate looking things over to the actual item. So you're able to say furnace, um, assembler pattern, um, and then you're able to say iron furnace assembler pattern and then chest assembler pattern. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and throw ourselves just a little bit of, let's throw in, let's see, what kind of wood is there? We actually have this kind of wood, so let's take all of that out. And as you see, we don't have any wood, but we do have these kind of planks here. Let's see, there's two of these and there's one of these. So what happens if we go ahead and just throw one, two, three, four, five, six of those in there. And now what we should be able to do is go over to view and let's go to craftable and let's say one of these. And as you will see, we should be able to, I keep pressing the wrong one of those, don't I? Let's go ahead and scroll down here. And as you see, it was able to use the or dictionary and able to build ourselves an awesome chest. So that is pretty dang cool that you're, what the heck? Okay, but it's pretty cool that you were able to do that and that it's able to figure it out. So you could use any kind of copper, any kind of bronze, any kind of silver, or any of those different mods if you do have different kinds of world gen. It will figure it out on its own, and that is what makes this mod really cool opposed to logistics pipes, which is like, hey, I'm going to spit this on the floor, or I'm just not going to cooperate at all. So that's pretty dang cool that you can do that and do keep in mind logistics pipes are a another really good way to do this if you don't want to use these but hey they are a little bit expensive gold gears diamond transport pipe for eight of these so i don't know i don't know i've never actually used this mod so i was really happy that i was able to get some of this stuff done so that is cool now we do actually have ourselves another one of our access terminals and if we had enough of our me cable what we'd be able to do is just go ahead and place that way over there and we should be able to cover our entire base with this access point um, or actually with our second access point but currently we can't do that so no big deal now as i said i would like to get a few more generators now the only dilemma that i foresee is that we're going to need a little bit of tin and a little bit of yeah we only have one piece of tin that's not good um, we're gonna have to find a little bit of tin in between episodes or so but what we should be able to do is find ourselves anything that may be remaining in here let's see i don't see any rubber though so that is not good now do keep in mind you can actually use this rubber um and you should be able to smelt it up into a block and you should be able to use that so that is cool um i may have to show that off here in a second because i don't think we have any rubber and that is not good we also don't have any um tin so i have no idea where the heck we're gonna find either of those let's go ahead and say wireless access terminal and i don't see any tin okay um let's see if we actually have a recipe for tin possibly i don't know we may or may not as far as i know um let's go ahead and find let's say 10 block oh that's not gonna work let's say 10 block and then 10 ingot and I don't, by the way, the multi-block thing is called a molecular assembler chamber, if you wanted to know. Okay, that's cool. So that's what that little thingy was called. And um, I don't know. Let's see, crystalline tin. Crap. So I don't think we're going to have enough of our stuff. Alloy furnace. I don't know what is going on. So we're not going to have everything that we need, but I should have everything. Oh, what the heck is this? All right, I, I really thought that was 10. 10 is found, um, I believe it's 40 and above. So that is kind of a pain in the butt because I don't really mind there. Um, or actually, maybe it starts at 40. I'll just go down to 40 and mine there. So what I'm thinking we're going to do for the remainder of the episode, what can we do? Let's just go ahead and go ahead um, and add some of these recipes into our thing. So let's head on up here. And I really love this thing because it is so easy to add in recipes. I would like to say, can we do a quartz cutting knife? And then let's do some silicone. And I'm going to have to teach it how to make silicone too, which is going to require a furnace and stuff like that, of course. But hey... I will be able to teach you that, which is super, super cool. All right, so we need a little bit of redstone. No big deal. Let's go ahead and grab out some of this. And we are going to need a piece of gold, which we don't currently have. So it's possible we could use a diamond one. Um, oh, actually, we do have a gold. Uh, let's grab you. And I don't like how you can't pull out one piece of each thing, but that's really no big deal because you can just place it right back. So no big deal on that. And I did break that, didn't I? All right, so there we go. Let's place our silicone here. And I should actually be able to place our quartz cutting knife. And as you see, we now have the recipe for the basic 
um, processor assembly, which is great, and it's going to be super easy for us to make these storage units just like this, because storage units are super, super complex to make, and basically we're just going to have to make one now in order to do what we want to. Let's go ahead and encode this, and we should, uh-oh, um, there we go, so it says, with one quartz cutting knife, I don't actually think that it keeps track of what you're trying to, just get rid of that. I don't think it actually keeps track of um, the damage, which is really, really cool about this mod as well. Um, I don't think you can place autom in automatic crafting tables damaged items anymore. I think they changed that, but guys, if you enjoyed this episode in any way at all, if it helped you out, if you need to help with applied energistics, please do let me know. Um, if this didn't help you out, um, go ahead and check out last episode, possibly. But if that doesn't help you out either, please do go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will be able to help you out. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been PG Mining 10 and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace.